Hello everyone, so we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part. So in this particular video, we are going to solve few PySpark related coding question which is generally asked in interview. So I have a two question and these two question we are going to solve in this particular video. The first question is like related to the flattening of a data like how actually we can flatten a data that is our first question. So if you'll see here we have an input like this. So here we have an input like this. So they have given me a data like this. We have a name column. We have a language column. So you can see Manish, he knows SQL and the Python. So in a single row only we are getting a multiple values. Suppose Manish knows SQL, Python, Java and all. So in a single row only we are getting all the values. Similarly Rahul knows Python and Java. So this is our input table, input data frame. Now what we have to do, we have to convert into, we have to flatten this data and we have to convert into the multiple row. So you can see Manish knows SQL, so Manish knows SQL, Manish knows Python, so Manish knows Python. Means whatever the in the single row it is coming, we have to flatten it into multiple rows. So that is the first question. Now let's see the second question. Second question is like find out the first not null values. So we have to find out the first not null values. So this is the table we have. In this table you can see we have a CT1, CT2, CT3. So you can see in this row what is the first not null value so we are getting a goa then blank then ap so what is the first not null value in the given sequence goa right so i am getting output as a goa in this case what is the first not null value this is a blank right but first valid value is a ap so i should get a output as a ap in this case what is the first valid value bangalore right so i should get as a output as a bangalore so you will see like here the colis should work colis will give me the first not null value the problem is here we are also getting a few blank value. So that is the problem. So you have to handle a blank as well as a null. And after that you have to get the this particular result. So that is our second question. Let's solve the first question. So what I have done. I have given one data. This is the data. I have given one column. Now based on this data and column I am creating a data frame. So how actually we can create a data frame in a PySpark. Spark dot create data frame. We are passing a data. We are passing a column. And after that I am doing a df dot so. If I'll execute this, you will be able to see our uh, data frame. So this is the data frame we have name and the language. Now what actually we will do, we will try to flatten this language column. So for that first we will try to implode a library. So what I will write from PySpark dot SQL dot functions import star import star so from pyspark.sql function we are importing all the uh, functions now what actually i will write i will write df.select what is my first column first column is a name right so i will use a df.name comma after that i will use a explode we want to explode this uh, language right so whenever you have to flatten you can use a explode function which is available in a sql so i will use explode and after that we will use a df dot language and after that if I write dot so now if I will execute this let's see what is the output we are getting so you can see it flatten the data so you can see Manish knows Java right so what is our first output Manish knows Java Manish knows Scala also so Manish knows Scala that is the second output Manish knows C++ so Manish knows C++ now you can see after that Rahul is coming. Rahul knows Spark, Java, C++, Spark, Java, C++, Spark. Means it converted, it flattened the data, whatever the in, in one row only it was coming, we have flattened into the multiple row. So like that actually we have to solve. So always remember whenever you have to flatten a data, use a explode function. That was the first question. Even the same question you can solve in a SQL also. There also if you use a explode, and then it will work. Now let's try to solve the second question. In the second question, uh, we have given a data frame. And if you will see, if I'll execute this, uh, this is the data, this is the column. I have created a data frame one. Here we have given CT, CT2, CT3. What is the requirement? We have to find out the first not null value in a separate column. So how actually I can do that? Here, I here also we have to import a library, but I have already imported a library. So what you have to do? from PySpark dot sql dot functions import star this is the first thing you have to write 
So whenever you have to find the first not null value, we use a Colis function. So Colis will always give you the first not null value. So this would solve our purpose, right? But the problem is like here we are getting a null as well as the blank. So in this case, the Colis will not work properly. If I show you, so what I will write, I will create a new column. So for that, I will use a with column. I'm going to create a new column name as a output. This is the new column I'm creating. And if I'll use a colis here, colis a df1 dot ct1, df2 dot ct2, df1 dot ct3. It is a df1 only. And if I'll do dot so, dot so, the colis should give me the first not null value, right? It is a df1. Ideally, the it should give me the proper value. But what actually happening? Because of the blank, it is not giving me the first not null value. It is also considering the blank as a proper value. So in this case, what we have to do? We have to convert this blank into the null and then we have to perform this colis operation. So what I will write? So I will write one when condition. When with the help of the when I will write if df1 dot ct1 what I am writing if df1 dot ct1 is coming as a blank then I will make as a null I will make as a null dot otherwise otherwise it will be a df1 dot ct1 only so what is the condition I am writing if in a ct1 column if anywhere it is coming blank then I will make it as a null so that our colis function will work properly so that I have otherwise we, whatever the value will be that will be as it is if it is a blank then only make it null otherwise whatever the value is there that only will be as it is so that's how actually I'm converting so similar condition I will write it for the uh, ct2 also when open a bracket df1 dot ct2 equal equal to the blank then make it as a null otherwise df1 dot ct2 similarly for uh, uh, 3 also so I will write when df1 dot ct3 equal equal to the blank then we will make the as a null dot otherwise uh, df1 dot ct3 now let's see bracket all the brackets are perfect or not you can see here a uh, one bracket is missing so i will add that now if i'll execute this now you can see it is working properly right so you can see for the first row what is the first not null value goa then blank and the ap the first not null value is the goa right so i'm getting output now in the second row what is the first not null value you can see ap right so i'm getting ap so now the blank also it is not considered then third you can see null then blank and then bangalore so it is considering the bangalore as a proper value so like that actually we have to write a code so i hope you got the idea please do practice you will get a better idea